Red, white, and blue political news now. The legal battle over the collective bargaining law about to get longer and more expensive. A Dane County judge struck down the law and now it's being appealed. Charles Benson is here to tell us what taxpayers can expect. Charles. And right now this law is in legal limbo. Tomorrow the attorney general will throw a big red flag. He wants a higher court to review the law that was ruled unconstitutional and put everything on hold until a decision is made. Well, there's going to be confusion even if a stay is entered. Former state Supreme Court Justice Janine Geske predicts a court will put the brakes on the recent decision, but if they don't... Well, then we have chaos. Uh, because, what kind of chaos? Well, the problem is it's clear that all future negotiation would be without the law, but the problem is past negotiation, or the lack thereof, was based on that law. The Supreme Court could speed up the process by taking the case right away and bypassing the Court of Appeals. It would take four justices to say yes. The issues are complex. It was unconstitutional, and it was unconstitutional primarily because there are two class of workers. The workers that are, do not have a collective bargaining agreement can fight for wages above the cost of living increases and the others cannot. Attorney General J.B. Van Hollen thinks the state will ultimately prevail. We've got a lot of people working on this case. State taxpayers have already been billed $728,000 in legal fees to defend the law, throw in $3.5 million in this year's recall races, and it starts to add up. The will of the people has spoken through the legislature and the governor should not be upset until it's ultimately struck down if it is. By the way, Geske predicts the high court will rule four to three on this high profile case. She just, just doesn't know in whose favor. Either way, she says, we won't know until next year. Mike and Courtney? Yeah, long way to go on this one. All right, Charles, thanks.